In this video presentation, we will be introducing some basic measuring skills. To start off, if we take a look at a one inch increment on a ruler. So if we jump back here, we're just looking right at our zero to one inch mark. If we break that down, we have zero and we have one. So, so we've zoomed in on one inch. If we split one inch in half, we have our half mark. And that's going to be the longest line in the middle between zero and one. If we then split that half inch in half, we have a quarter and we have another quarter over here which would be three quarters. If we split a quarter in half, we're given an eighth, 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 and if we split all those eighths in half, we have a sixteenth, sixteenth, sixteenth. So if we were to start at zero and go to one sixteenth, if we add another one sixteenth, that would give us two sixteenths, which would then reduce down to an eighth of an inch. So what we're going to do for this exercise is I'm going to give you several different ruler readings and there is a red line and you are going to read the ruler to the nearest one sixteenth of an inch and you're going to write the length of that red line. Now I would recommend doing this on paper at your desk. I'm only going to leave the ruler with the red line up for about five to ten seconds so you will want to pause the video and take a close look at it and figure out what the measurement is then you can resume the video and down below on the uh, unit page there will be the answers to these problems so here's the first problem so you're going to write the measurement for this red line and I'm going to give you oh, about five or ten seconds you can pause the video to give yourself a little bit more time and then I'm going to move on there is um, several problems and we're just going to progress through these All right, now there are several different measuring worksheets that we're going to be working with. You'll want to download those as well as the sample ruler drawing. And on one side, you will be measuring the line and writing the length next to the line to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. On the other side, on, on that side B, you're going to draw the line that I give you the measurement for. And you can grade this either by printing out the answers, again located at the bottom, on a transparency and overlay that, 
or you could just print it out on regular paper and hold both your drawing and the answer key up against a window.